I know God will take care of you every day. Come what may, he'll see you through. God will take care of you. You, God will take care of you. That's just lady, lady. She ain't paying no attention. Nobody's just paying no attention. They just walk out here. People are just like damn zombies at times. Oh, Jesus. You know, I just can't. Anyway, once good morning or afternoon. Car talk with Lady Lily. Car talk with Lady Lily. On a Monday, it is MLK's holiday. I am out and about. I uh, had some errands to run this morning, doctor's appointment, getting my hair done because it needed really, really bad. And so I am moving on to the next phase of my day, but I wanted to bring you a little car talk. And um, hopefully you're enjoying your day off, if it's a day off. But they say you need to make it a day off. So anyway, so moving on, we want to say congratulations to... Um, Joel Santana and now Kim Bella Santana. They tied the knot. I want to say, was it last week or the week before last? They had a private ceremony in New York. You all know that Joel Santana is getting ready to serve um, a prison sentence. I can't recall how long it's going to be or if, even if they release how long it's going to be. But um, yeah, they tied them out. They said Joel's and Kim Bella have been dealing with each other for 15 years. And I believe two kids have emerged um, from this union. So may God bless the union. I hope this would be the turnaround for jo Joel Santana and that him and Kim Bella live happily ever after. Um, we had a big case, a big trial that um, came to a conclusion on Friday. Um, you all know um, Jake Van Dyke, the officer that shot Laquan, shot and killed Laquan Madonna, Laquan Madonna 16 times. They had the sentencing here in this um, past Friday, and they sentenced him to 81 months. I think that supposed to be six years and eight, eight to nine months or something like that. So, of course, everybody's kind of disappointed um, because they felt he should have got more time. Some feel this is a starting point. This is a step in the right direction to let these cops know you just can't not just shoot people down like that. I'm like, it's got to be a better way. And I'm like, you know, I thought back in the day you just shot them in the ankle or some shot them in the knee to stop them, but not shoot them down 16 times. It was just like, and I actually watched the sentencing hearing and, you know, they brought in a lot of, um, you know, past people who filed complaints from him, and that is um, was a lot of African American men, um, and one of those men were um, a known referee, because I am a referee, and he said because of the abuse that he uh, encountered with um, Jake Van Dyke, um, he is no longer physically able to. Um, referee because there are certain movements in refereeing he can't do because it's too painful to do so he did get a, a, a financial settlement from the um, situation but it was just bad it was all black males and then um, his family all went to you know testify and they kept saying he's doing his job. He's a good guy. He's a father. And then the wife, she laid it on real thick, talking about the girl. Kids are mean. Kids are cruel. Kids are upset because um, they live in a city. Not sure what high school she goes to, but based upon where they said they live, which is by Midway Airport, she goes to one of them schools. Uh, one of those schools by not too far from the airport that she goes to a multicultural school. And I'm sure them, you know, it was kids that looked like me. And you know some brown and some other cultures that are like yeah. So something got to be done. Like I hope this can be a starting point that these cops just need to stop doing all this. Some of this ain't called for. 
you know, while they're while we're over here teaching, you know, young boys and men and women how to conduct themselves with the police, they need to um, um, get these hot head cops together themselves. So, um, yeah, he got six years. I thought at least it'd be double digits, but it was not. So, yeah. In other news, Future did some interview recently, and he was talking about Russell Wilson need to man up and. Uh, he's doing whatever Sierra is telling him to do and he sound like a bit of Betty, you know He sound really like a bit of Betty um, Sierra, I guess is back reporting about futures not doing the visitation rights the visitation rights um, and she just want him to follow what the court has ordered and um, That's how future is uh, You know spoke back up and he's telling this radio host or whoever that, um, you know, if she was my wife, she wouldn't be bringing my ex up, blah, 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 blah. But it seems like she's only bringing you up when it's concerning the, the child, which you're supposed to do um, if you're entering the co-parent situation. So I don't understand. It sounds like future still bitter. Um, but I mean, he been laying the Lord spread, spread the wide. Look how many um, baby mamas he got uh, down emerged since Sierra. So he doing him. Why you worry about her? I just, I think it's just, I think men get jealous when a woman move on for them, and they see her do better, and she is happy, and she thrives, and she emerges from the situation that they had with her. Some men, you know, they take it as a learning lesson. They try to do better when they get to the next relationship and some men just like forget it i don't care so um yeah what it is sierra is happy she done moved on her and russell wilson doing some great things she's got this level up thing going on you know they're looking to own this um team this professional is that baseball team so they 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 popping in these streets and future over here what album at where the music at that's all i got to say that's all I got to say about that. Mm, 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 mm. That's all I got to say. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's going to be uh, the Patriots and the Rams in the Super Bowl. Both of them games. I saw both of them games, and, and I think people got robbed. But I don't really care. I didn't want the Saints in there anyway. I know that the city of New Orleans is mad. But, yeah, I didn't care really care about that. But we really didn't want the Patriots in. And I'm like, damn, Tom Brady ass finna get in there for another time. Ain't he old? Ain't he in his 40s? I thought you stopped usually playing football about your mid, mid, mid 30s to late 40s. I thought it was a cutoff. I mean, if you're healthy, I guess. But he was like, this fool still throwing. Um, He's like 41, 42. Okay. Interesting. Gold Rams. I am still keep saying St. Louis Rams and St. Louis Rams ain't uh, the Rams ain't been in St. Louis for a couple of years now. They're in LA. So let me get my life together. The LA Rams. So congratulations on to them. I'm trying to think. Um my heart goes out to the young lady. Um there was a situation. A young lady got raped on a dance floor in Atlanta this past was it this past weekend. And there's a video um that's floating out. I didn't see it. I kind of don't want to see it, but uh, apparently that she was getting raped and assault on the dance floor and people was not, she was saying help, stop, no, and they were saying people was videotaping, and I'm like, where the hell is her friends? I mean, ladies, we got to be careful, like, especially if you're driving, you're going out, you got to be careful with your alcohol intake. If, you know, you didn't make arrangements in advance to say, I'm going to get towed down, who driving, who looking after me, you got to be careful. And, like, uh, if I'm right about myself, I try not to indulge like that because I got to get home. I don't want to take advantage of. That's why I'm saying, where is her friends at? Because good friends wouldn't, good friends wouldn't let her got that sloppy and good friends would have intervened. And people with genuine hearts, genuine uh, thought for people they want to have let that happen and people are so quick to take out cameras and videotape versus going to help somebody that's why that girl that got stabbed to death on the train here in the city that time instead of you all trying to videotape it 
you know, you could have threw a book or a bag or swung a purse or done something to stop him. All them people on the train, on the platform, and nobody could say that girl, she got stabbed up like that. That's crazy. We need to, uh, we need to stop, um, want to put everything on camera and post to social media and just post the stuff. Cause I believe this rape took place on the Facebook live. So this is crazy. We need to, you know, I know we all social media heavy. We all want to, you know, capture it in the midst of it. And certain things, it's video worthy, but some things are not. And we just got to do better, y'all. Like that young lady should not have the experience that somebody should have jumped in, whether it had been a female, male, somebody, an employee. Somebody should have came in and saved that girl. That, that was just tacky. That was real tacky, and it was uncalled for. We have to do better. Um, also, um, you know, remember Hydea Pennington? She was the young lady who had actually got to perform at Barack Obama's second inauguration at King High School. She was gunned down. The young man that was um, the person that gunned her down, he got um, 84 years. And we was talking about that, how he got 84 years versus Jake Brandyke got six months, uh, six years. So both people are no longer, but yeah. So it's almost like his life gone. That young man got to go to prison for 84 years. That's crazy. Put the guns down, people. It's not worth it. It is not worth it. Your freedom is priceless. Your freedom is valuable. So, God, put the guns down. Stop taking people out and just go and and be successful and be great and just live and thrive. You can make it out here if you really want to. You want to you want to get some get some decent money or the honest way you can go out here and grind for it. You know, do tough times fall on people? Absolutely. But you have to keep working. You have to pray your way through and make it happen. And I tell everybody, y'all be sleeping on these referee opportunities. People who unemployed, come go referee. There's a lot of referee opportunities out here in the sports. And it don't take much to get on. And you just got to connect yourself with the right people. If you connect yourself with the right people, they'll put you on and help you out and, you know, you know, help you get opportunities. You don't have to be going out here doing all this stuff. Refereeing, you know, is flexible. You pick and choose what you want to do. That's why I tell people I like it as a side hustle because I say yes and no. It's not every day, all day. I mean, I know people that, that referee every day, all day, but that's their prerogative and you know, some people have made it into they 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 nine to five, they regular gig, and they doing games every day. But it's just too much stuff out here to earn money the honest way, and not for people to have to you know go to a series of crime. Moving on, speaking of crime, so there are some investigations um, that have took place with the art with R. Kelly, based off the aftermath of the surviving R. Kelly documentary. Apparently, um, some people done went down. I think one of R. Kelly's former um, managers or people got arrested for something, and people are starting to sing. And RCA and Sony has officially dropped um, R. Kelly from their roster. So, oh, yeah. As they say, shit is getting real. So, uh, excuse my language. But, um, yeah, so uh, we're we going to see how this roll out. <coughs> We're going to see how this um come out. As I said, if Bill Cosby go down, go, if y'all took Bill Cosby down, you better take R. Kelly down too. That's all I'm saying. Take everybody down who did, did dirt moves. It don't matter how long ago it was, that, that situation with Bill Cosby, these women came out of the woodworks from years. Okay, R. Kelly got to go down too, and I said it. I said it. He got to go down too. It's too long. I mean... And hell, I think he had actually solicited help from Ayanna Van Sant, and she declined. And she declined because she said she felt like he was not in a position to do the work to be healed. So a lot of people are talking about that. If he don't get, if he don't, uh, if he doesn't uh, get brought down, he needs to be um, in the process of getting some help and healing. So, but Ayanna Van Zandt turned them down. She said it, it, it's, it's not going to be worth doing. And it's not about the show. It's not about ratings. 
she said it, it, he's not going to be in for it because I guess they did some preliminary uh, questions or any uh, preliminary stuff to see, and they were saying no, he wouldn't be. Um, he wouldn't be um, ready to do the work uh, per se, but I, I'm interested to see how this all gonna go down. Now, okay, the music pool, all these celebrities pulling, they uh, pull, want to pull their uh, songs down, but they was just saying how, like, I think I brought this up in a prior video, they was just saying how all these you people, you know, did music after the trial, after the, at the allegations, and now Celine Dion, Nick Cannon, Lady Gaga, all of them want to pull the music. But as uh, the radio station said, they they said, y'all did all this music after the pee. That's what they was calling it. What music came out after the pee? So that's what they were saying. Excuse my French, but that's that's how the radio, the radio uh, people called it. So, um... I don't know what to tell you. It looks like that it's going to be some interesting times for R. Kelly, or at least an interesting time for us to watch it. But yeah, God don't 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 bless mess, and I keep saying it. People think they get away with stuff. People think they get over. God do, uh, God don't like ugly, and he don't bless mess. Can I get in there? I'm not going to even do that because I'll slip and fall. But God don't don't bless mess. You think your karma has a way of coming back to you. And karma might not always hit you when um, right at that moment. Sometimes it takes years. But karma has a way of, of coming back and biting you in the butt for real, for real. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Um, I got to watch the housewives. I missed that. We, yeah, I hope everybody stays safe and um, sound because the Midwest did get hit with some snow. Uh, it wasn't as bad as we thought it was. I thought it was going to be like, you know, I was able to get out the alley. That's how I tell people it ain't bad. If I'm able to drive on the street and get out the alley from the garage, it ain't that bad. But um, I think that's it. I'm at my next destination. I'm trying to look for a shower curtain. I want a new shower curtain for the bathroom. But that's it. That's all. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Monday. Make it an awesome week. May we be open to the open doors, the blessings, the opportunities that God has placed before us. Stay blessed. Have an awesome day.